Aquarius. Uh, what's good with y'all? What's good, Aquarius? How y'all doing? Y'all feeling good? I'm feeling good. I don't think I look as good as I feel. I look greasy. I got an eyelash missing. You can see the space. You see it? Let's get into it, y'all. Let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being a dork. Okay, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius. Oh. Aquarius. 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 Uh, what hip hop queen do Aquarius need to resonate with right now? Who do Aquarius need to be? in order to reach their highest potential, their highest vibration, their highest form of self. Who do Aquarius need to resonate with right now? Who do Aquarius need a message from? What hip hop queen do Aquarius need a message from? Last shuffle off the top for Aquarius, please. Courage, Aquarius. You have Remy Ma. Courage. So I'm already getting Leo energy. Um, you could be dealing with the Gemini as well. Um, I don't know if there's something that you are afraid of facing, but I feel like it's time for you to tap into courage. I'm gonna read it from the book because I'm not familiar with um with Remy right yet. So it says, when Remy Ma re-entered, the entire hip-hop industry had changed. Instead of falling prey to intimidation, she mustered up the courage to return. Likewise, pulling a Remy Ma card signals you'll have the bravery to enter into a new cycle of your life. So this is about changes right now. Changes are afoot, and you may be concerned about them, but don't let the apprehension stifle you you can be a little conceited you have a reason so honor your inner strength roll with the punches and hold your head as high and brave whatever storm comes okay so now that i know i'm gonna associate this card with the number five 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 change i'm gonna associate it with change but um, it's looking like there's great change coming towards you. And it's important that you don't be discouraged by the change. Like, stay confident. You know what I mean? Like, just because things are changing doesn't mean that you're not valid or that you don't have the skills or the tools or the resources necessary. You know what I mean? Um, things are just changing, but you don't have to change. You stay lit. You stay planted in yourself, grounded in yourself. Big changes come in for Aquarius. Big changes. I feel like some of you could be moving. I'm getting heavy moving energy. Some of you could be moving. Some of you be, may be taking leaps of faith, moving across country, moving um, out of the country, moving away from family for the first time. Um, taking a job somewhere. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What energy is currently crowning Aquarius? What is the energy that's crowning Aquarius right now, please? Three more shuffles. What is the energy that's crowning Aquarius right now, please? Last shuffle off the top of the deck for the energy that is crowning Aquarius. Taurus. You can be dealing with the Taurus the bomb show when i get this card i feel like it means that it's time for you to can you hear my my hair my chair is mad squeaky what do i gotta do to fix it do i have to get a new chair because this is clearly not gonna fucking work if i'm recording anyway um when i pull the taurus card the bomb show card I take that as a sign that it's time for you to kind of step into yourself and like cultivate your five senses and like 
learn about yourself on a like a intimate and like luxurious level if that makes sense like on a personal level I feel like the way that I connect with like the Taurus energy um is by lighting candles in my house and I associate Taurus energy a lot with like food and smell I know that they do touch but obviously I'm not I mean I do be touching myself but you know what I mean um it never feels as good like <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> um, what was I saying? There's a need for you to tap into your own sensuality and be sensual with yourself. Is 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 kind of what I'm is what I'm trying to explain. Um, but outside of that, I feel like there's also a need for you to be practical and productive and. Uh, loyal and patient um deliberate tactical worthy like there's a need for you to step into these feelings and into these practices so you can feel this way about yourself you will be confident right you will have courage if you know that every single day you've set aside two hours to practice that skill to work on that project to write that book you won't be phased by change when the shit is actually getting done like it doesn't matter what's changing i know what i'm doing and i feel like that's exactly what this card is saying earthy practical steadfast productive i don't know if you've been meaning to be productive i am getting artistic artistic endeavors um but this could be with anything i don't know if you've been meaning to like get to something but i feel like now is the time where you create the plan um and stick to it implement that shit in your life there needs to be a routine and when you have Taurus, Taurus is about routine practical deliberate productive <laughs> like they're just like and patient because they know that things take time like i'm not gonna see results in one minute that's why it's that's why Tauruses know the importance of setting aside time, daily, increments, practical, deliberate. You get what I'm saying? There's this energy where you need to be practical and deliberate um, about the things that you want. And once you do that, you will be less insecure. You'll feel less unstable. You will have the courage. You will be confident and you won't give a fuck what's changing. You're like, it's still me. I still, I'm still doing it. I still did it, you know? Um, okay. Let's get into the cards now. You could also be fertile right now. This Taurus card, I did talk a lot about your own personal shit, but, um, Taurus is also a card for me of, like, energy of, like, good sex and, like, like I said, the five senses, touch, feel, smell. I'm getting that maybe somebody might want to romance you, give you flowers. Yeah, you could definitely be dealing with the Taurus, Gemini. I mean, Aquarius, my bad. You could definitely be dealing with the Taurus, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Show me Aquarius's immediate surroundings, please. Show me Aquarius's immediate surroundings, please. Aquarius's immediate so there we go. Wheel of Fortune. This is that change. Things are turning on the wheel, but it's turn it's all turning for the better. Um Aquarius. But I do see that you're in a split mind about the direction that you want to go. If there's a decision you don't want to make almost, I feel like you don't want to, you don't want to make the decision. Yeah, you're definitely juggling. And this could have to do with work. You may have to travel for work, which will require you to leave the life that you're living now, which might be the thing that you're like, juggling or the decision that you don't want to make because you don't you may not say you you're in a relationship right now at home you don't have enough money you're not making enough money right now at home you find a job not at home 
now you're faced with the decision of do I leave my relationship for a higher paying job? Um, do I not? I don't even want to look at this shit because this is too hard. You know what I mean? But the changes are happening. The changes are coming. The changes are happening. Um, and I feel like it's a positive turn. Let's see. Let me clarify the Wheel of Fortune since it's just one card. Let's see what this one card can tell you. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aquarius? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aquarius. What the fuck? Two of Pentacles. Again. This is juggling. So you know what? Um, look, and now we have all four twos. We have the two of swords, two of wands, two of pentacles. Oh, what am I missing? Swords, pentacles, wands. Oh, we don't have the two of cups. So that will make me think that maybe this is not necessarily about love because, and it's maybe about work, right? With the two of wands, two of swords, two of pentacles, and then the six of pentacles that symbolizes more money, but this could symbolize being shortchanged. You understand what I'm saying? Which is what making me feel like you might be getting a job offer once again, somewhere else, a travel, somebody's looking across the ocean. Like I have to, I have to go a distance for this. Um, I could be wrong. This could not be about work, but I'm not wrong. I'm getting work vibe. I'm getting money, something, a money opportunity. Why would you be juggling money with the wheel of fortune? You understand what I'm saying? It's the wheel of fucking fortune. So this could also be go play the lotto. You may hit, gamble. You may, you know, like the luck is on your side when it comes to money I'm feeling too. But let's see if we could get more. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Pentacles. What is this? What is this Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Pentacles? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Pentacles. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune with the Two of Pentacles, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? And the Knight of Wands. I can't even make it up, guys. So that's the Knight of Wands, but look at what's right under it. The Wheel of Fortune. There's like fortune on your side. Be careful that someone is not trying to take from you, Aquarius, but this is also you. You're the Seven of Swords as well. So don't cheat yourself out of um, your good fortune. I mean, you could also be planning to repeat a cycle. You could be planning to go back to clarify. I'm now I'm like clarify both wheel of fortunes. Clarify this seven of swords with this wheel of fortune, please. Clar the knight of swords with the knight of wands. So Aquarius, this is a, a, a hot take. You could you could be juggling two different people as well, a knight of wands and a knight of swords. This could be a younger fire, younger air sign. Possibly a Capricorn. What is this Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Who Are these two different? Who is the Knight of Wands? Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Five of Cups. So the Knight of Wands is somebody who regrets their flighty behavior. The Knight of Wands is somebody who could have possibly... <laughs> you had a sexual relationship with sex based you might want to go back to this air sign 
this is somebody that you may have ghosted or that they ghosted you this person wants to come out of ghost but it's because they were holding back some money or holding on to something else and making you wait clarify this knight of swords who's this knight of swords for two aquarius who's this knight of swords to aquarius clarify a three of pentacles so this could be somebody that you used to work with or somebody that you're cheating with if you're in a committed relationship yeah you might be given to two with the three of wands right beneath it Clarify, clarify this for me one more time. The Knight of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Clarify this for me one more time. The Knight of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Swords? Look at these cards turned over in the fucking deck. Clarify the Knight of Swords with the Three of Pentacles, please. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Clarify this Knight of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Why is this Knight of Swords here? Whoa. Look, it's the Two of Swords again. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past. I feel like you've been cheating. I feel like you've been giving to both parties or something this whole time. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like that just got a little bit messy. Like that definitely, I said it was about work, but then these nights came out and I made it two separate situations and it wasn't necessarily two separate situations. So take it how it resonates. It may not be two different people and it could be just a work situation, but I am seeing two people. These are two different people, right? Am I bugging? Two different people. They're different. They're not the same. They're not. You could also be debating and going back and forth in your head if you're going, if you're going to cheat, or if you're going to reach back out to this person from the past. You could even be wanting to incorporate them in your relationship. You could be wanting to have like a three-way relationship. But you also are looking at like maybe time has run out for this. All right, let me, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> and we're going to see. I'm going to pull some more cards. Aquarius. How is Aquarius feeling? What does Aquarius want right now? I just mean love. A bunch of love in your energy. How is Aquarius feeling? What does Aquarius want right now? How is Aquarius feeling? What does Aquarius want right now? Look, that Six of Cups again. There's a, some kind of past love. This could even be a Scorpio. There's some kind of past love that's on your mind. That's what I'm saying. You may not even be in communication with this person. You may be in a whole other relationship. But you're thinking about this Six of Cups. This person from your past that you cut off or that cut you off because of a third party. Somebody was cheating and it was hurtful. And yeah, the three of swords with the will of fortune. Once again, like that whole, that, this, okay, when it comes to shit like this, like this could be a past life connection. You understand what I'm saying? When people fuck up, that shit gets blocked. Now we have the seven of wands with the seven of cups. You understand what I'm saying? With the wheel of fortune. Now there's karma. You understand? Now Now people have to pay karma. Now people have to go through cycles, maybe even fucking seven years um, worth of your time to clear this. So if you do come back together, you can come back healthy. If you guys would have gotten together two years ago, three years ago, in the middle of you both transitioning, it wouldn't have worked. Not saying that this is not how life is supposed to go, but it's just an annoying ass inconvenience. Like, you should have just not played with me from the get-go seven years ago, motherfucker. Anyway, that's not why we're here, is it? I think it is, because you keep asking, you thinking about the Six of Cups. <laughs> you thinking about, though. But somebody did get cut off. 
you cut them off they broke your heart for sure and your video got cut off but i'm back um you're possibly what was i saying trying to figure out how to have a new cycle with this person or subconsciously like desiring it you know what i mean like is there in the back of your mind low-key maybe and this could be because they're actually coming in they could actually be coming in let's see okay let's see let's see let's see let's see how does this six of cups feel about aquarius how does this six of cups feel about aquarius are they coming in what is the six of cups how do they feel about the aquarius four of pentacles they're holding back they're holding back but this justice card is here as well so this could be a libra i feel like what you are about to receive no but they're coming back to you this could really be a scorpio though bro i'm not even joking <clears throat> With the judgment of the Eight of Cups, this is somebody who has made the final decision to come back. It could also be a Cancer, it could be a Scorpio, any water sign. This person also may be coming back by the next full moon or something like that. They're coming back with truth and clarity. And they do want to balance things out. But I don't think that there's something that they have to let go of this person. What is this for cups? What do they have to let go of? What do they have to let go of? Why are you doing this? I don't like when you do this cards. Relax. What do? What is this four pentacles here for? What do they have to let go of? Why is this four pentacles here? What do they have to let go of? Three of Wands. This person might be a fucking serial cheater. Or they might travel. No, with the Seven of Cups, yeah. This person is not grounded in their own emotions. This person is okay with not being emotionally attached. They fake want love, but I feel like they want you to do the, the emotional work, Aquarius. They need to go to therapy. There is something they need to change their perspective. They think it's okay to have like several options or not that it's okay, but they're just comfortable in that energy. They could be seeing now how it, it was detrimental to the relationship, that energy, like being so emotionally like clouded like this person probably didn't take time to heal themselves before they got with you um from whatever the fuck was happening before you but it looks like this person is a wanderer they're not really set or stuck in anything they're always looking out they're always looking for something else my video shut off again so now i have an attitude Let's let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Hold on. All right. So like I said, they're a wanderer. They're always looking for something else. Um, I feel like you want this person or this person wants you, but there's loopholes in it. There's something that they're still holding on to, which might be their... Uh, like, I feel like, to be honest, you or this person are quit. Y'all are, like, really trying to be in two relationships. Like, y'all are holding on to one with another. Y'all kind of want to, y'all, I'm getting the vibe of maybe incorporating or, you know, making it a three-way relationship. But I'm definitely seeing that there's another person and somebody's not letting, uh, there's a third party, whatever it is, and somebody's not letting that shit go. Somebody's still holding on to something. What last? What last messages do we have for Aquarius, please? What last messages do we have for Aquarius? What? The Emperor. With the Six of Swords. It's time for you to establish a business, get to work. It's time for you to get to work on your own artistic shit. If you 
have been in a space of chaos. It's time for you to find order, structure, a peace of mind, and really invest in yourself. Um, Gemini just had the same message. Yeah, because you have, you'll then get, okay, boom, look. You'll then get a fresh new start, a fresh new beginning, possibly with a Capricorn. Big Capricorn energy here. Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Big Capricorn energy, big love energy. The Queen of Cups is right under it. This could be a um a lesbian relationship as well. I mean, here or there, it doesn't fucking matter. This is your person. And there is love. But I feel like this this new beginning comes when you kind of create, establish your own order, your own control, your own, uh, uh, I'm getting several uh, sources of income. Like you need to really invest in yourself, put into yourself. Um, if there's art, you need to work on your art. You need to start putting it out there. Um, whatever business ideas you have, you need to start working, like setting yourself up so that like, when you do get in a relationship, you don't have to be codependent or attached or uh, worried about how you're going to eat because you depend on this person and y'all had an argument. You know what I mean? Like you want this to be a healthy relationship and you need to be in a place where you can take care of yourself and be stable on your own is the energy that I'm getting with this emperor, six of swords and nine of pentacles. This could also be you sneaking away from a relationship <laughs> which is funny <laughs> who are you sneaking away from aquarius all right let me put a self-care what self-care do my aquarius need what self-care do aquarius need to take with them into their week what self-care do aquarius need please Oh, come on. What was that? Two more shuffles. Self-care for Aquarius. Last shuffle. Self-care for Aquarius off the top of the deck. I offer words of good intent. Jim and I got the same reading. I mean, the same card. I offer words of good and Ooh, I feel like I am forgiving might hit for you a bit, too. Um, I offer words of good intent. I feel like this is how you need to be talking to yourself. Remember, we started here with having courage and being practical and creating systems for yourself. What did I say? Uh, that I just for, I forgot about that to create systems for yourself, to create your art and like accomplish, be productive. And that's exactly what just came out. Be productive, create your own businesses, establish your businesses, invest in yourself so that you can be good. You can be confident. Remember? Um, but I feel like you need to start speaking real life into yourself and in your situations, like believe in the power of your word, you know, and um. When you're interacting with people, you want to always give a good word. This could also be if your creativity is like writing, rapping, singing, poetry, words. Um, get to it. There's something here with your words and them being good. Okay? So that's your self-care for the week. But make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share, you follow me on Instagram. I love you. Be good. Be practical. Be steadfast. Be courageous. Be Remy Ma conceited. Got a reason. Ah.